Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video, and yes, of course, continuing with the review marathon of classic live-action Disney films, now we're reviewing from 1968, Blackbeard's Ghost, and this is probably my, one of my favorite uh, class, Disney classic live-action films. It's, it's in my top favorite, you know, of classic live-action Disney films. This is really such a great film, you know, because let's face it, your main cast, Peter Hustinov, um, I got it on the tablet, Suzanne, uh, Plesh, Pleshity, I, I guess that's how you say her, I, I don't know, but you know, you know what I'm talking about, and Dean Jones, you know, you name it, and Elsa Lanchester, just great people in this, and the, du you know, the comedy duo, Peter Hustinov, who is, of course, um, Blackbeard, um, but I'm looking at it on the tablet, it says Edward Tech. I don't know. It's, I'm pretty sure that's Blackbeard's real name. I don't know. And Dean Jones, who's Steve Walker, and Suzanne, who's Joanne Baker. This movie is so great, you know, because, you know, uh, Dean, Steve, Steve Walker, he arrives in town, like the new, I guess, gymnastics coach or something, and he, like, stays at this, like, um, hotel or whatever it is, you know, um, where, you know, a bunch of these ladies, they're like relatives of Blackbeard, you know, and, um, you know, uh, Steve wins something in an auction, and he accidentally sits on it and breaks it when he's in his room, you know, and uh, inside is like this piece of paper, which, you know, with these words, and when he reads them, lightning and thunder strikes, and it summons Blackbeard, and throughout the film, Steve is the only one who can see him, you know, but that isn't until at the end of the film, you know, the ladies and, and Joe, they, they do get to see him as well. Um, some of the other cast, like, um, there's Jobby Baker, Richard Deacon. Yeah, Richard Deacon, I'm, he's been, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's been in other Disney stuff. Um, Elliot Raid and Elsa Lanchester, because she was, she previously, for, in Disney, was in That Darn Cat, as, and in Mary Poppins as that, as that nanny before Mary Poppins came in, you know? Um, and then, uh, yeah, Charlie Brill. Now, Star Trek fans would know him best as, as, um, Darvin from, uh, the original series, you know, the Tribbles episode, the episode with the Tribbles, and who would reappear in Deep Space Nine, where they, were the Defiant crew travels back in time to that episode. So there you go. That's to you Trekkie fans, like myself. Um, uh, and Gil Lamb, he plays a waiter who, like, accidentally spills like dessert or food or something and i'll be mentioning and he's he uh he appears again in another disney film with dean jones which we'll get to that next after this <laughs> um yeah just with its with its moments and such like oh yeah who was the one um who was the policeman i forget i think it was i think it's this guy kelly thords thordson i guess you know and that infamous scene where blackbeard he rides on a cop motor a police bike, you know, that, it, that, that's a really great scene, you know, doesn't the police guy know what's going on, it's not, it, it's not Steve doing all that, seriously, it's right in front of him, he sees the notepad moving, and it's Blackbeard, you know, doodly da -do doodly do you know, and just, you know, and grabs the policeman's gun, you know, and five bullets, you know, I could do a decent impression of Peter Houston, you know, cheeky, leathered, pipsqueak, you know, took all me out, you know, on Blackbeard, so, you know, and Blackbeard, he even, like, helps out at times, like, helping out with the gymnastics, like, the racers, and, uh, like, causing them to fly, or, and also, uh, the, like, gambling, you know, because with Steve and Joe, and, um, Blackbeard helps out by moving the ball around and electrocuting one of the bad guys, yeah, uh, Blackbeard's Ghost, I have to say, it's such, it's such a great film, with its funny moments and such, it was actually released, how would I remember this, the anniversary of Blackbeard's death, you know, when the film came out in 1968, and it was actually one of the last few films, I, I want to say, yeah, that and a couple of others that were, um, consulted and that were, that were given the go, you know, uh, you know, from Walt Disney, you know, who gave the go to make those movies, you know what I'm saying? Um, and consultant, that kind of stuff, you get the idea. Blackbeard's Ghost being one of those. Um, but yeah, so again, Blackbeard's Ghost, it's such a great movie. Uh, 
one of I'd say one of Disney's gems without a doubt you know even if that's my even if it's just my opinion you know you guys you guys let me know what you think of Blackbeard's Ghost if you enjoy it just leave comments as always and for me I'm giving Blackbeard's Ghost 10 out of 10 stars because obviously I love this movie it's such it's a gem I want to say and it's it's everything about it is just great so you guys let me know again you guys let me know what you think of Blackbeard's Ghost leave comments as always for me, again, 10 out of 10 for Blackbeard's Ghost. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Blackbeard's Ghost. More reviews coming your way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward. And up next for the review marathon, another film starring, uh, well, or should I say another classic Disney live action film starring Dean Jones. Do you know which one I'm talking about? Well, it has to do with a car. Yeah, yeah that's next. Stay tuned for that. See you guys in the next review. Peace out.